Jessila, and I am the chemistry teacher at Petra Training Institute. Today we will learn how to balance a chemical reaction. Okay, so before going to that, we have to know why there is a need to balance a chemical reaction. Do you know what is law of conservation of mass? Law of conservation of mass is that mass can neither be created nor be destroyed in a chemical reaction. Okay, so we have to maintain the mass of the reactants as well as the products in a chemical reaction. So we have a chemical reaction that is given here and we have to balance the chemical reaction. So if before starting to balance the chemical reaction, you have to note down which are the elements present in both sides of the reaction. So here we are having Fe as one of the element iron, then sodium is there, chlorine is there, hydrogen is there, oxygen is there. And on the right hand side also we are having the same elements, iron, sodium, chlorine, hydrogen and oxygen. Okay, so first list out the elements present in the balance the chemical reaction. Okay, now we have to look how many number of atoms are there. Iron is one. In the left hand side, sodium is also 1, chlorine is 2, hydrogen is 1, oxygen is 1. Okay, just look in their numbers. Then iron in the right hand side is also 1, sodium is 1 again, chlorine is 1, hydrogen and oxygen they are 2. Just see the bracket given to both oxygen and hydrogen indicates the number is common for both oxygen and hydrogen. So there are 2 hydrogen atoms and 2 oxygen atoms in the equation. Okay, now we have to balance the chemical reaction. So whenever you start balancing chemical reaction, first go for the metals, then for the non-metals, other than hydrogen and oxygen. Then after completing the other non-metals, go for hydrogen and finally the oxygen. Okay. So if you do that, if you follow that way, it will be an easy method for you. So here, iron is one on both sides, so it is already balanced. Sodium is also one on both sides. When you come for chlorine, it is two in the left hand side only one in the right hand side okay so we have to make this one as two so just cancel this and we can give it two here so how do we put these numbers in the chemical reaction it is like we have to give them as a coefficient so i give a two as a coefficient here <laughs> okay now when you just give two as a coefficient chlorine is two but sodium is also two here okay sodium is also just becoming as two here so we have to go back to the reaction, uh, the elements that we just looked previously. So sodium is 2. So this side, the left hand side also sodium must be 2. So just cancel this and we can give it 2 here. So here it is 2 NaOH. So when you give, go for the left hand side, 2 NaOH means sodium is 2, oxygen is 2 here and hydrogen is also 2 here. Okay. Now just check your reaction. We are having... 1 ion on both sides, sodium is 2 on both sides, chlorine is 2 on both sides, hydrogen is 2 on both sides and oxygen is also 2 on both sides. That, that means our equation is balanced. Is that clear to you? So this is how we have to balance a chemical reaction. When you do the initial ones, maybe sometimes the hydrogen and oxygen also get balanced during that process. Okay, so it's very easy to balance a chemical reaction. Just follow this order. Thank you.